what I want. Isaiah 58 and verse 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose? Okay, so this is what the fast will do. To loose the bands of wickedness. Hallelujah. To undo the heavy burdens. To let the oppressed in Ypsilanti go free. And that you break every yoke. Look at the results in verse 8. Then shall your light break forth. That's revelation. As the morning. You begin to get revelation of the word. Revelation begins to come. Revelation. You read a scripture. Suddenly it lightens up. It glows. It, it blows up. It, 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 it becomes clear. Things become in the scriptures. There's no more confusion. Everything clears up because of the fast. Then shall your light break forth as the morning. And your health shall spring forth speedily. So in addition to revelation that comes, revelation from the word. Do you know revelation is very important? If you get a revelation, everything changes. Everything changes. If, you, if, if God opens your eyes to see something in the word, everything will change. That's your power. Revelation is, is, power, is powerful. Totally changes your life. If you can get just that, but he adds to that. He says, then shall your health spring forth speedily. So that means there's healing. After you've gone through with the fast, there's healing that comes in the body. Suddenly health springs forth. Amen. The knees which were painful, suddenly the pain is gone. The headaches, the migraines are gone. As a result of going through with the fast, it's very, very powerful, people. And you know what? I'm expecting everything that this passage is saying, I'm expecting that in my life. That's how I deal with scripture. Everything I read in the scripture that looks like a promise that God makes, I don't, li I don't leave it alone. I claim it. I lay hold. I possess it. And I'm doing that right. As I'm reading this to you, I'm laying hold of this right now. Because he says in verse 8, then shall your light break forth as the morning. That's revelation. Every time I read scripture, I'm going to get revelation. And then your health shall spring forth, forth speedily. So I'm, the healing, the healing, whatever needs to be healed in my body, the blood, whatever the body, whatever parts of the body, whatever parts of the intestine, in the insides of you, the lungs and whatever that needs healing, he says it will, it, it, it will come as a result of the fast. As soon as you're done with that fast, that healing springs up. And he says, thy righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rare reward. Then shall thou call and the Lord shall answer. Hallelujah. You're not going to call to a dead God who does not answer. Like the pagans will call pray to a statue or something, and you never get an answer. He says, you will call, hallelujah, and the Lord shall answer. And you shall cry, and he shall say, here I am. He's going to show up. I'm excited about this. You know, I don't know how this comes across to you, but when I read this, my spirit keeps saying, that's me, that's me, that's me. I don't know how... How do you guys read the Bible? Every time I read a promise, something in me says, that's me, that's mine, I take that, I take it, I take it, that's mine, that's me, that's me, that's me. That's what you need to do. Grab a hold of the promise. Grab the promise. Don't let it go, past, go by without being appropriated, without being, being, being assimilated in your life. Digest it. Take it in and digest it. This is me, God. You said my life shall break forth. This is me. You said my health shall spring forth speedily. God, this is me. You said my righteousness. This is me, God. You said I will call. And God will answer. I will cry. And he shall say, immediately he said, here I am. What do you want? Promises to answer prayer. Hallelujah.